I hate YouTube. I mean, I love it, but I f hate it. First off, if you're a YouTuber, you know what I'm saying. You know what, then when I think about it, if you're a viewer as well, you know what I'm saying. For the past week and a bit, I've been getting DMs from you guys saying that my videos aren't popping up in your subscription box. Because if we trace it back, this has been an ongoing issue with YouTube for, oh my god, since like at least 2014. They have had four years with this issue and still have not been able to fix it. Drives me absolutely insane. Now that I got that off my chest, we can start today's video. Today's video is the unboxing for the buying every ad I see part three or three, or edition three. <laughs> if you guys have not yet seen that, it'll be in the description down below. I highly suggest watching that. Now before we get into this, while I still have your attention, if you guys are not getting my videos in your subscription box, oh my God, what's the point of even f subscribing? YouTube, get your, get your sh together, man. If you guys would like these notifications and you're not getting them from YouTube, follow me on Twitter, at TheDanocracy. Right here. But if you don't have Twitter, you can also do it on Instagram because I do Instagram stories as well. Okay, guys, let's get into this. Today we're unboxing some items from Buying Every Ad I See 3. Okay, we're gonna start with this guy. This is the Bomba Socks. These guys. Shipping is way too, way too high. I paid $15 to ship an $18 item. 100% happiness guarantee. Oh, okay, interesting. I didn't know this. Socks are the most requested item in homeless shelters. Every one pair of socks you buy from these guys, one pair of socks gets donated. Now I feel bad for talking shit, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, for a standard pair of wool socks, $15 a ship, I don't know. They're mad soft though. The reason why I say these things have good quality them is because the bottoms are extra padded. There's more material on the bottom. Man, these actually do feel nice. I'm still kind of pissed that the shipping costs $15 for an $18 item. They definitely feel like high quality socks. They do not justify the shipping being that expensive. Next item. Ooh, this is the necklace. Guido ass necklace. That actually a lot of you guys express interest in. Nice little red box. This is what it comes in right here. The gold rose on it. Oh. There's the necklace in a plastic bag. Let's go ahead and open this. They do look like diamonds. It feels pretty sturdy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna go to a different shot so I can show you the guys the close up. This is the back right here. There's the front. So they do look like very plasticky diamonds. If you're going for an image of like a diamond necklace, this could do it. My problem is the imitation of a diamond necklace that kind of gets to me. If it wasn't trying to do that, then yeah, I'd probably wear this. This is a, it feels good, it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel like these are gonna fall out. I don't know if you guys can see. This is kind of like, Almost like a choker. Feels sturdy, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, this feels sturdy. I don't have the balls to wear this out in public and have people think this is a diamond necklace. Next item. All right, let's go ahead. This is the phone accessory. This is it right here. The magnetic phone backing that is pretty much invisible. It can stick to things. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at this. This is the magnetic backing iPhone case. Extra grip sidewalls, nine embedded magnets, 360 protection, and a six foot drop test. Quick mount with auto alignment, and a minimalist design, low profile mag stick. Open this up. Oh. That's really it? Literally just, oh there it is, okay. Kinda got that rubbery texture, little bit of flex to it, not that much. This is the grip side they're talking about, it's kinda like not matte finish, so it adds a little bit of a grip. Feels nice, it really does feel nice. Thank you. These right here are the magnetic sticks. I Let's peel it back. Which I'm pretty sure you stick these on like your car. This has magnets inside of it that, that stick. It's got a stick on it, as you can see. Oh, that was weird. Okay, so there's a magnet that way. Yeah, I don't have an iPhone, so this does me no good. Next item. Okay, gloves. Here are the gloves. They come in this like plastic. They actually feel high quality. Can you guys hear the quality of this? I got size large, and I feel like these already look small. I got size large, and these fit like a size medium or a small. If you guys like the gloves, just know you have to go up almost two sizes for what your hand is. They're very tight on the tips. Apparently these work on uh, touchscreen smartphones. Let's go ahead and try this out. Oh, it does, baby! You guys see that? It does work on smartphones. Even though these work on smartphones, it's really hard to type on keyboards. It's like a rubber palm. The zipper on the back's nice. The palm does feel reinforced, so if there was like a knife attack, which in the video, in like their commercial, there was like a knife attack, I think you'd be fine with these guys for like a couple hits. Overall, the sizing is completely wrong. These are size large, but they fit like a size small. Quality feels nice. Those are the gloves. Next item. These are the best packages to get, because you never know what could be inside. We got paper. It comes in like a wooden case. Oh, and it comes with like a little letter. Let's just slide that off. This is cool. They give you a mystery gift card from anything between 
$10 to $100. The only problem with this is the way to check what your discount is, is by actually buying another product. In this, this is the main piece. Each watch is handcrafted by our team of watch experts. It comes in this wooden box. It says true wood on the top. Ooh, and there's the watch. There it is, that's the watch right there. We are gonna get close-up shots as well. It comes in like a wooden crafted box to pop off. I think you can probably take the foam out. And then you have like, now you just kind of have like a jewelry box made of wood, which is cool. Very, very light. It does have a pop of color in there with the second hand. This nice bright blue. It does not say anything about being waterproof. Because it's wood, I naturally am going to say that it's probably not waterproof. That's the True Wood watch. And then it says True Wood on there as well. Next item, repair tool. This was the dent repair tool. This one's going to be very hard to review if I could even review it right now. It comes with all of the different dent heads. This is the actual device. You have a dent, you stick that on with one of the heads on, you're essentially kind of like gluing on a head and you're just gonna go like that and you're gonna suck the dent out. Definitely high quality, it feels good quality. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to test this one in this video. Rather, I'll have to do this on my Instagram story. I'm gonna look at all my friends' cards, see if they have any dents. If they do, I'll give this guy a shot and put it on my Insta story. Next item. Boom, okay, this, I already know what this is. I think this was the first item to come from this video, actually, it's the umbrella. Now, while I was ordering this, I had trouble trying to get the yellow umbrella. Every time I went to order this, it automatically switched the color to blue. It didn't matter what color or what pattern, it always went back to blue. I wonder if they sent me a blue umbrella or if it's the yellow one I actually wanted. They sent me blue. I tried all the different colors and blue was the only one I kept going to. What is going on here? Let's just open it from this end. Oh, give me this freaking umbrella, man. The handle, I forgot. So, here's the umbrella. First off, it is bad luck to open an umbrella inside. However, for the sake of this, I'm gonna do it in this video. So there's like a red button on the handle right here. You just push that. Oh, I see. Of course, when it's open, it's great. It feels sturdy, great umbrella. But I'm talking about like the ergonomics of the handle. This is the umbrella. Overall, this is a purchase I would make again. If any of the winners of the giveaway want this, I'm probably just gonna buy you a new one instead of actually sending you this one because I think I'm gonna keep this one. So we have two more items here for the first edition of this unboxing. This is the ink box. I've already done a review of this in the past video, so I'm not gonna do it again. Last but not least for this video, we have this one. It is, oh, it's that damn grocery bag. I think this is the first purchase of the video, actually. Oh, sh that stinks. Oh, it smells like old milk. Anyways, it's a grocery bag. It has like spandex at the top. Guys, what are these sticks for? I think these sticks go on the bottom once this, the bag is full. Keeps the bag open. Other than that, if you guys do a lot of groceries and you don't like doing the wasteful plastic bags, this does look like it can carry a lot. I can see it doing well with cans. Oh God, this thing stinks. What the? That right there is a Miracle Grocery Bag. I want you guys to know that if you're watching this video now, I have sent out the email to the winner of this contest. They have 24 hours to reply. If I do not hear a reply, I'll be picking a new winner. Once a winner is picked, I'll announce it on my Twitter. Now I'm gonna add an additional winner to the giveaway because I've got a lot of products here I don't need. So we're gonna have three winners. One of them will be picked today, and then the other ones will be in the other unboxing video. Please subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you guys have any other questions about any of the items I opened up, Please feel free to tweet them to me and I'll go ahead and answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. And if you guys are not getting notifications, follow me on Twitter where I announce my videos are going live. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.